What's going on everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today we are checking out Spectre Divide, the new game from Mountaintop Studios. You may have seen some of the big creators playing it. Shroud has especially been on it as he's been one of the key members of the playtesting phase for them over the last couple years of development. This is a 3v3 arcade competitive shooter. Right now the only mode is essentially just set, uh, search and destroy. But it does have the twist of using what they call specters, which is you control a second figure that can also engage in gunfights. You move them around the map and pick up from different points and hold down two different sides of the map and do all sorts of different tactical maneuvers. Wow. It's a new game, so it's going to be interesting to see where people go with it. So far the game is loads of fun. It does take a little while to get through because it is a best out of their first to eight essentially. So it could be a total of 15 rounds to decide the winner. So it can take quite a while. Each round is relatively short with only about a minute for each round plus some time for the buy phase. The time to kill in this game is crazy fast, but see, it does take a little bit, so it's not a terrible feel. It's not as fast as some other arcades, but it does feel faster than, say, like certain guns in Call of Duty. It seems like every gun has had a pretty decent time to kill. It. Down on the field. Um, it is, they call it an ADS shooter. You can hold the ADS down and move straight to left and right, no problem. Still at pretty good speed. Moving forward, you get a little bit of a speed kill, but. Ultimately, you can move pretty freely. Got a very good feel overall. Kind of a new, fresh take on CSGO as far as the movement feels. But again, with the ADS, you can move while you do it. So you're not stuck standing still shooting. So you don't get full arcade movement, but you do get better than what you're used to with Valorant's Counter-Strike. I had a pretty good time with this game. You definitely want to play it with friends. Um, definitely better when you can communicate with your team. Because, like I said, it's three individual players, but controlling a total of six bodies per team. So the maps are relatively small and easy to maneuver around, but they are very direct in their paths, and you can really get yourself out of position pretty quickly. If you want to Instead of character abilities like you get in a lot of these hero shooters coming out these days, instead your abilities are essentially picked off of your lethal equipment selection. In this round I was using Pinnacle which comes with a splinter grenade and a flashbang grenade and a heal tool. Um, there are different ones that have different setups like smoke grenades and whatnot, so you can pick your tech abilities like that. Down on the field. So instead of it being directly correlated to your Spectre or yourself that you choose, it's completely dependent upon the package, we'll call it, that you choose at the beginning. Pretty good game overall. I would suggest giving it a try if you're into Counter Strike or Valorant or just competitive, like search and destroy style Here games. This gives you that feel, it's a lot of fun. Whose carrier was killed. If you made it this far in, drop a like and subscribe. Let me know in the comments below if you're going to be giving the game a try out when they come out into early access. And we'll catch you on the next one. Peace out. You have to.
course has been planted. Use the adrenaline. Put the grenade out. <laughs> 